how's everybody doing today? This is DJ Nettie Darkfold here with another episode of Nettie's Notables. This one's about uh, learning to let go. About, you know, things that happened to you in the past that's hard to let go and they're in the past and you have to let them go. And this is my way of moving forward and, you know, my bit of advice for you guys. Mind you, you can take it any way you like. Um, you don't have to take my word as gospel or anything like that. So, um, it's just my opinion and the way things are going. Um, this one is uh, suggested by Jonathan. Jonathan, thank you for your such wonderful suggestion. Such wicked, prominent subject matter for this, for this uh, series. And uh, here we go. Okay. We all did something, we all do something that we regret, right? Regardless of what it is. We might have said something to a friend that would hurt somebody, or we could have um, did something that, um, that really hurt ourselves in the past or whatever, what may have you, um, my, my advice about that, I mean, my experiences with that is, like, I have many, many, many experiences with that, I'm not saying I have regrets, because, you know, I learned to let go of these things, there's a, there's a situation, I'll, I'll, I'll explain this without using any names, there's a situation where I had a crush on a guy, and ladies, you can relate to this. Um, I had a crush on a guy, and for a very long time. And this guy that I crush on didn't like me the same way. I didn't know that at the time, but he liked a friend of mine. So. I did a lot of mean things back then to that to that friend and to the guy that I quote quote liked. But it's something that bad happened to me and I've lost three friends because of it. Um but I can't go back to there. I cannot no matter how much I try, I cannot go back to that situation. I'll never do it again whatever I did before, um, because it's just a horrible situation. I never recommend it for anybody. Um, what actually happened was, putting it delicately, I... How can I say this without offending anyone? I... I so I knew what this guy was like, and I knew he was a big old flirt, and and he loved um, he loved sex. Now this subject matter is not for all ears, but I'll put this as del delicately as possible. Um, I knew that. And so I used that against him. And I did things I wish I hadn't. And without further ado, I've lost his friendship and two other girls that I was friends with at the time. Uh, luckily for, for me, uh, the friend that I was involved forgave me for what happened. Um, but she forgave, but she didn't forget. Our friendship has not been the same since, and we've lost that closeness we had before. That I'm telling you because of something I experienced that I did that I didn't really, um, I had took me, took me a long time to move past that. And another situation was when 
I was in love with another guy. <laughs> he was like my best friend. And uh, I was completely enamored with him. And for five years. And um, he didn't like me the same way. But it didn't stop me. It just, I kept pushing and pushing and pushing things. And we went through hell and back. And luckily to this day, we're still friends. So um, that's another situation of what happens. And like, of things that I've been through that I regretted things in the past and I mean I don't regret it now because it's part of who I am and everything you do makes you who you are makes you part of who you are so uh, the bad parts included so it's like um, okay when I was 15 this is a, this is a true story when I was 15 I was proposed by doctors to get an operation this operation was very, very intense. It was an operation on my legs and my back. And, well, actually, no, just my legs and my hip. Because I have a dislocated hip, for those who don't know. And my left, le my left hip has been dislocated since I was about 10 years old. No, it does not cause me pain, nothing like that. So, luckily for that. So, anyway, I have a dislocated hip, and the doctors told me that I could get that fixed, and um, I can learn to walk in. I was, I can get this surgery where I had to have uh, my hamstrings loosened, and if you don't know what hamstrings are, it's your muscles behind your knees, and um, I could get them surgically, surgically loosened in order for me to straighten my legs and also get my hip back in place. This was the doctors told me this the operation could be done and um, and I will be in six weeks in in um, intensive like in cast in a big comp body cast and body cast is like cast from your stomach actually right from your best bone right down to your toes and you're flat, flat, you know, you light and flat out, you can't do anything. You're like bedridden for six weeks. But think about that. And I was 15 years old at the time and I was still uh, getting used to the wheelchair and accepted myself as being a person with a disability and accepting myself being a person with a wheelchair and uses a wheelchair to get around so that did not bother me at all at 15 years old so it was like the fact i told the doctor at 15 years old no i don't want the surgery i don't want it because it was a 50 50 chance of it actually happening and working and i can walk again and miracles cease to happen and i be able to walk but i didn't want to risk it because I was happy the way I was. I still am. So I don't regret that. As much as people might say to me, oh my god, can you have the surgery now? Um, I'm 37 now. I've lived 15 odd years with the wheelchair, so I've learned to deal with things that, that um, not many people have, unless you've been in my situation. Um, So, I mean, I learned to accept myself even more now than I have before. But it's like, do I regret not having the surgery? No, not at all. Is this something that happened in my past that could have happened? And it just it stayed there. And the doctors could tell me um, tomorrow and say to me, ask me the same question. Would you like your surgery and learn to walk again? I'm like, no, thank you. I'm happy the way I am. And that's the way I am. And it's like, if people don't like that, that is their problem. It's not mine. So, I mean, people can laugh at me. They can, they can basically say to me, like, are you serious? You turned down an opportunity to walk? And, um, yeah, because 
if I learn to walk today and learn to walk and 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 learn to do things more independently than I am doing now um I don't know it's like it doesn't it doesn't phase me as being a bad thing not learning to walk because I'm happy the way I am I'm happy using a wheelchair I'm happy um doing the things I'm doing right, right now. So, I mean, it was just, my point is in the story is that things happened to you in the past, some other things that you did or things that, are, that happened to you. Um, and you may or may not like these things, but it's part of who you are. But the point of being is moving forward and getting to that point where um, you look at this thing and say, oh my god, I did this? Wow. You know? And, like, be happy with it. I mean, everybody makes decisions. You have a choice to whether to do the right thing or the wrong thing. And what the right thing or the wrong thing is is completely up to you. And... If you're anything like me, I've accepted myself the way I am. So it was like nothing or no one can change my mind on that. And yeah, I could learn to walk tomorrow if I wanted to. But do I want it to? No. If I stood up right now, seriously, folks, if I stood up right now, I'd be afraid of my own height. Seriously, I only stand up five foot four. I'm not very tall. But still, I'd be afraid of my own height. I haven't stood up since I was about 13 years old. And that's, that's the honest God truth. And, um, <laughs> as funny as it sounds, uh, I'm just happy the way I am. And, and this, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. Seeing, in being a uh, permanent vertical position all the time, <laughs> it does not bother me at all. Because I'm, I mean, I'm happy. What else can I ask for, really? But, I didn't tell by the smile on the face. I mean, jeez. I've learned to accept myself. And that's the thing. Self-acceptance. Accept these these things that happened to you in the past and just move forward from them and grow from them and learn from them and learn about yourself. I mean, every bad thing that happens to you, bad or good thing happens to you, you can learn from that situation. Everybody, everybody in this human world can basically make mistakes. Even me. I've made my ton of fair share of mistakes. Trust me. I mean, I'm not perfect by any means. Nobody is. But it's like, I can only be me. And um, I can only, you know, help the fellow man. So this is my little advice to you guys is to take what you take. Okay. I've always told me, someone always told me, some wise person told me once, if there's something in your past that you don't want, you can't get rid of, no matter how much you try, you cannot let it go. Put it in a bubble and let it float away. Because once it's floated away, once it's floating away, it's gone forever. And, um, yeah. And that way you don't have to think about it or do anything about it anymore, just move on from that part of your life and go forward from there. Because that way you can learn from your own mistakes and uh, and makes you be a better person because of it. Trust me, it works. Um, <laughs> that's my little advice for today. So I'm going on for 14 minutes now just talking about myself. So... Anybody else want any suggestions uh, for Notice Notables? Nettie's Notables? Notice Notables. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, anybody else got any suggestions of what one you want me to give advice on? Feel free. Um, put it in the comment section. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Damn, compressed lungs. 
that's what it is. My my lungs are compressed, and I have trouble breathing sometimes. That's why I cough a lot. So I uh, please excuse that cough. It's just really annoying, more than anything. Um. But anyway, I'll see you all later on, and uh, take care of yourselves, and have a good day, and don't forget to smile. <laughs> I love you all, and um, a little shout out to Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you for your suggestion. If you got any more suggestions, feel free to send them. And if you guys want me to talk about more about it, put it in the comment section, and we'll have a discussion about it or whatever. I'm not afraid to open up to you guys, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, I'm not afraid to open up to you guys at all, so, like, you guys are my friends. I mean, how else are you going to get to know me if you don't ask? Right? So, anyway, that's it for me, and, um, yeah, if you can tell, I'm wearing different glasses today and dressed all in blue. It's my favorite color. Yay! Um, <laughs> of course, I had to put a little like uh, laugh in there. But um, yeah, that's my best advice: is put it in a b balloon or put it in a bubble, let it flow away. Put it in a helium balloon or something. Put a little note to yourself: say, "I did this. It's gone." <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I know. I know, I know, I know. So, um, the days where I think about my own decisions and realize, did I make the right decision back when I was 15 years old? And every time I, I think about it, I'm like, yes, I did make the right decision because if it wasn't for this situation that I'm in right now, I mean, and it wouldn't make me a strong person I, I am today. So it's like, <laughs> I, I, I really, I wish you all guys the best. And uh, I love you all. And uh, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>